Hello, and welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are on day 14. Aren't you excited? I know I am. <laughs> I am going to share this out while I wait on Facebook to build the audience as usual. And we will get started. So who is joining me thus far? Make sure you say hello. Give me thumbs up. Ask me how I'm doing. Because I'm surely wanting to know how you're doing. Especially after 14 days of listening to me share with you some productivity principles. Right? We've committed to doing this for 30 days. And we are nearly halfway through so i'm excited i hope that you are as well so say hello give me thumbs up let me know you're out there share 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 as i am doing just that so i hope you will do the same I know we are nearing the end of the week. What about, gosh, a week before Christmas. So folks are probably out shopping and, you know, getting, getting things in order for the holiday. So if you've got to catch the replay, I definitely understand <laughs> because we get busy, right? We get busy. So I'm almost done here sharing. So I hope you are taking this opportunity to do the same. As I mentioned, I wouldn't dare ask you to do something that I myself is, uh, uh, that I'm not doing, right? That wouldn't be fair. That would not be fair at all. So again, make sure you're saying hello. Make sure you are getting in a comfortable spot so that you are ready for principle 14. We are almost at the end. I have one more place to share this and we will get to chatting so that you can get back to your day. Well, it is night, so you might be planning just to, to call it a night by now. <laughs> Okay, so I got that done. Goodness, took me a while. So if you are a newcomer, your first time joining me, I am Dr. Jatan Dorsey, Amazon best-selling author, speaker, life and business coach, professor, and corporate chick, hence my jacket today. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to change, uh, which typically I don't now that I think about it, not for the video, so... Um, I wanted to make sure that I hopped on before I got too comfortable in my, um, you know, in ho at home. You know, we get comfortable and we call it a night and at that point, I don't know. I don't know about me recording, so I had to go ahead and, and do that right now. Hey, Tidra, thanks for joining, love. So, um, just a little bit about me. If you haven't been tuning in, I teach parallelpreneurs how to successfully launch their businesses, skillfully manage their time, all while continuing to live up to the responsibilities in their careers, while also, while also living out their passion, but in a stress-free zone. Hence why I wanted to do this 30-day challenge to increase your productivity while maintaining peace of mind. And I'm leveraging my book, called Intentional Living, which um, shares 30 productivity principles that I have um, I have used in my life, right, that have gotten me to a point of where I am successful and I am continuously successful, although we all run into bumps and, and bruises and barriers and all these many things. What can we do? What can we put into place to make sure that we stay on track towards that ultimate goal? And that's what this is all about. And it's timely simply because it's December. December comes every year, but sometimes we're not prepared for January 1st or we're sitting back waiting on January 1st just so that we'll have a reason to go ahead and set resolutions. Well, we don't have to wait until the 1st. Let's do it now. So I'm here to encourage you to do that. So this challenge is not just for me. It's for you as well. It's for us to work together so we can help uh, 
collectively increase our productivity and that gets us closer to achieving our goals, right? So again, if you're out there, say hello, give me heart love, give me thumbs up. Let me know you're out there. Let me know where you're from, if it's your first time tuning in. And if you're catching the replay, just type replay in the comments. And that lets me know that you came in. You may not have caught me live, but you caught me, right? <laughs> so make sure that you do that as well. Make sure that you share this out so that we can um, help more people, right? Sharing is caring, as I always say. So if you've been tuning in, as I mentioned, I'm on day 14, Day 14. So what we've talked about is shifting your mindset. We've talked about not failing to plan, right? So there are two sections of the whole book that we've talked about thus far. And guess what? We're going into the third section today. Can you believe it? I'm just saying. We are progressing right along. This is just a, a, it's, it's a surefire example of productivity because we are consistent, consistently moving through these principles and we are actively putting these uh, principles into place and, and implementing them into our lives, right? And I hope that you are committed to continuing to do that as we progress into or approach 2018. So stick with me, right? Because we are going to do some great things in 2018. And if you stick around, you'll hear about some things that I have going on throughout the rest of this year. I know we only got a couple weeks, <laughs> but then also going into 2018. So stick around. You got some opportunities to win. And I know we love to win, right? So make sure you stick around. So we've talked about so many principles and I won't go through them all. Sometimes I give a, re a quick recap of all the principles, but today I will not do that because I want you to go back and catch the replays. If you don't follow me, make sure that you do so today. I am on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, you can find me at drjatun. You see my website there at the bottom, drjatun.com. Make sure that you connect with me, whether it be through email, website, social media, just connect with me. Hey, Angela, thanks for joining. Just make sure that you do connect with me and you remain connected because I want to make sure that you are continued I'm continuing to nurture you even after this 30-day challenge. Not to say that I won't be recording because I will, but you just may not see me as often, right? <laughs> so today's topic, again, we talked about the first two sections, shifting your mindset and not failing to plan, right? So today we are moving into the section called Make Every Minute Count. And the, um, the quote that I opened up this section with is one that I truly do love because we don't really think about our time this way. We don't really break, break it down in this way. And I think that this quote helps remind us, right? Remind us <laughs> of exactly how to use our time. So in every day, there are 1,440 minutes. That means we have 1,440 daily opportunities to make a positive impact. And who said that? Les Brown. If you don't know who he is, make sure you Google him as well, okay? <laughs> because he is awesome. An awesome motivational speaker. So just think about that. We have 1,440 minutes each day that we have an opportunity to do better, to be better, to get into action, right? To move past regret. And all too often we we forget about that, right? We forget that we have that opportunity, and we uh, if we don't, if we I think I said this yesterday, but if we're not tracking our time, right? If we're not monitoring our time, then more than likely we're wasting time. So just think about that. You're wasting one thousand four hundred and forty minutes every day when you don't put in the effort to actually plan out your day so that you can be effective and efficient as you continue to go throughout this life, right? And I know we all have these dreams, these aspirations, these goals, but if we don't have a plan in place, if we don't have it documented, then we don't know which direction we're going, right? We're kind of just going about it haphazardly and hoping that things fall into place. And that's what I want you to move beyond. So when we talk about the 1,440 minutes we have in a day, you can also think about the hours, right? 24 hours. And sometimes we feel like we just don't have enough time in a day. But then you see others who are being successful, right? Whatever successful means for them, however they defined it. But they are truly achieving the highest height in life with the same 24 hours that we all have, right? 
So just take the moment to really assess how you're spending the time that you do have. Now, granted, eight of those hours are typically used for work, right? Eight are for for leisure. And then you have eight for sleep. If you ever broke it down like that, I mean, if you've never broke it down like that, now you can think of it that way, right? So break it down that way so that you can really see how your time is spent. So some of us are spending more than eight hours sleeping. Some of us are spending more than eight hours working. And then others are using more than eight hours in leisure. So you have to truly find the balance, right? So it's not that you have to exactly spend the eight hours in those categories. But what you do need to do is make sure that you are spending your time wisely. And those areas that you're putting your hours in, it aligns with the purpose and the goal that you look forward to achieving. So as we continue to talk about um, making every minute count, this particular principle for day 14 is maintain a trusted system, right? I just talked about how important it is to document your plan. Well, this trusted system is something that you use on a daily basis to make note of your ideas, to make note of your plans, to track your, your involvements and your responsibilities, those appointments you have and all that stuff, right? Because sometimes we, 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 um, we depend on our minds, right, to remember everything. Now, I know if we say minds and remember, we think, duh, that's what it's supposed to do. Well, but in actuality, our minds are made, are, are designed to forget things, and that helps us remain sane. So there are going to be some things that you might forget, right? And I know that about myself. So I have, this is one of my trusted systems, this calendar. <laughs> I keep everything in this calendar. The calendar goes everywhere I go, even if it's just sitting in my back seat and I have to go out and do other things. But I like to have something that I can truly write down. And I'm, I'm, I guess you can say that's old school because I like to write things down. I feel like I remember it more when I write it down. But I also utilize my smartphone, right? Because sometimes I want to put things on my calendar and actually receive an alert. And that way it's like a trigger and it doesn't require that I actually take the time to go to my calendar and say, okay, what do I have up for today? It may just pop up on the phone. So anyway, a trusted system is whatever works for you. It could be a journal. It could be a calendar. It could be uh, your smartphone. It could be whatever it is that works for you. Sticky notes around the house. But whatever it is, make sure that you're consistent with it. And it's something that you are destined to frequent often, right? regularly so that you can go there and say, okay, this is what I have to do today, right? This is what I did yesterday. This is what I didn't get done two weeks ago, but I still need to tend to this. You can even outline what's important, what's not, what's urgent, what's not. And we'll talk more about that in a later a later principle. But all that to say, when we think about making every moment count, Truly break down your days, break down your hours as you think about your ultimate goal so that you can be more effective and efficient in working day to day, minute to minute towards this goal, right? So that is the discussion for today. Of course, I like to hop on and hop off. And today, uh, yesterday and the day before that, I took too much of your time. So I wanted to make sure that I am mindful of that today. Before I close out, though, you know, I remember, I promised you at the beginning, if you stuck around, I would share some additional information about how to remain in contact with me, right? And I already shared my, ha um, my handles and my website, my email, all that good stuff. But if you weren't on at that point, make sure that you catch me or connect with me, rather, on all social media, pla pla media platforms. And I say all, but not really all. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn at drjatun.com. Make sure that you go to my Facebook page and like the page so that you'll get these notifications when I do uh, my lives. Because again, this is a 30-day challenge. We have a, a just under, well, we almost have 15 more days to go, right? Tomorrow we'll be halfway through. So stick with me. We are continuing to go through this and be successful about it. And I know that it's something that's benefiting you. So I hope that you're sharing this out so that it benefits others, right? So with that, I want to make sure that you don't forget to tune in for a day with the Dorseys. Our, uh, that's a podcast with my husband and I. If you haven't caught that, make sure you catch the replays on that because that is like hot like fire. I'm just saying you want to catch that too. And you can find the links for that on my uh, Facebook page as well. And uh, make sure that you catch that, share that out. Tune in as we post a new episode each week. And early next year, we're going to do a contest to win an actual date with the Dorseys. So I hope you stick around, connect with us there. And then as we've been talking about the Intentional Living book that I've used for this 30-day challenge, 
Um, I'm also a visionary for the anthology, right? The intentional living anthology that is. So it's going to complement the book that I'm talking about through, through the 30 days that we've doing, we're doing the live and the challenge. However, the anthology is sharing actual experiences from these co-authors, right? So they're sharing experiences of tragedy, of, uh, uh, barriers and challenges that they've faced in life, but more so, they're sharing how they intentionally overcame these challenges, right? How did a intentional living help them overcome these and get to a place of wh whether it be coping or getting over whatever the challenge was? So I hope you look for that, more information on that to come. And then we also have a survey, a survey that I've been sharing with you guys to get your feedback on what you'd like to see. What you, what's your big, biggest challenge right now that you foresee going into 2018 with, right, that we want to rid? And I want you to fill out that survey to give me that feedback because then I want to help you overcome that, right, for 2018. So I won't know what, the, what your challenge is if you don't respond to the survey. And I know, as we just talked about with the 1,440 minutes in a day, I know that you are limited on the time that you have to just do extra things, right? So because of that, and because you are taking the time out of your busy schedule just to complete the survey, I will be reciprocating the opportunity to you to win again, right? Win again. So if you just take the time out, you have an opportunity to win a prize for just completing four or five easy questions, right? It won't take you much time at all. So I look forward to you connecting with me, whether it be um, through my social media platforms, my website, email, right? The podcast, The Date with the Dorseys, Catching Us on the Book, the upcoming anthology book, whatever it is, I hope that you continue to follow, you continue to tune in because this train is moving and you got to hop on if you want to ride, right? <laughs> so again, this is Dr. Jatan Dorsey, Amazon best-selling author, speaker, life and business coach, professor, and corporate chick. So I... Thank you again for joining for day 14 of the 30 day productivity challenge. And I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow as we move into the halfway point of this challenge. So stick around. We are almost there, but it's so much more work to be done. Thank you again. And guess what? Today is the perfect day. As we always say, and every, every day that I close out, there's never a perfect moment, but you have to make this moment that you have perfect. So let's move. Let's get beyond being stagnant and let's win right, right now as we walk into 2018. We don't have to wait on 2018, right? So with that being said, thank you for tuning in. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.